That right there is five shields activated at once. It's a bit overkill, not gonna lie. But before we get to any of this, let me explain why. Shields and Genshin Impact have always been something I consider when building my teams. On one hand, it lets you fight without worrying about your HP. But on the other, it could take away from your damage if you have other characters that would work better as support. One thing's for sure though, shields let you ignore many different game mechanics. So today, I want to find out how far I can take this. How powerful are shields exactly? And can you play Genshin without ever needing to press the dodge button? To answer these questions, I need to build a team. The first character that comes into mind is the shield man himself, Zhang Li. If you know anything about him, he's built like an absolute war machine and can crush his enemies with his big rock. His shield is so strong that even the most formidable bosses feel like that one hill troll throwing a pebble at you. Not to mention, its cooldown is shorter than the duration, so you can keep it up indefinitely as long as it doesn't break. Zhongli's shield scales on HP. I don't know why they didn't use defense instead, but anyway, this means he needs more HP. Surely there are no HP weapons, right? Wrong. Black Tassel. HP huge. Let's see, well, I'm gonna try to level this up as much as possible, but I don't know how far I can take this, is the thing. We can make a few levels though, but yeah, I do definitely need a few of these materials. So let's get to it. Um, let's see, two goldens. Oh. oh wait, you get multiple of these. Did I get lucky or is this three? I believe you can create one golden with all these materials. Yeah, let's see. Black Tassel. Um, yeah. Might as well. Zhongli, his final upgrade. Oh my gosh. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. This is the best use of my materials. He's rocking with the, the Black Tassel. Zhongli has more HP now, but it's still not enough. So it's time for artifacts. He's using a 4-piece Tenacity of the Mill essay, which gives 20% extra HP. And probably even better is increasing all party members' shield strength by 30%. If we take a look at his artifacts, his stance is also HP. It's not maxed out, but nothing a few leveling can't fix. Let's see. Flat HP, give me flat HP. I, w I want Zhongli to have the most HP possible. Not too bad. Okay. Geo damage bonus. Trash. He needs more HP. Yeah, another character could use this two-piece set. Probably going to keep that on Diona. Or maybe I'll use it. Uh, sure, why not? I think I'm out of artifacts. Oh no. Alright, alright. Uh, let's see here. He has an HP hat, but it's a four star, which is less than five, so it's bad. It's time for another domain. Wait a bit. Alright. Tenacity of the Millilith, please. I don't want to resort to my Primo gems here. Oh, come on, HP, HP. Oh my gosh, saved. Yeah, 48%, it's good enough. I don't really know if I want to upgrade this right now because I don't know if I have the materials to do so. I'm gonna need a lot more of these things, which I don't have the resin for. But yeah, that's a lot of HP for my shield. Alright, so next shield character, Diona. With her elemental skill, she can create a cat shield. And because it's cryo, it gives better absorption against cryo damage. But like Zhongli, her shield scales on HP. Now, if only there was an HP weapon here. Oh wait, there is. Uh, well... <laughs> I unfortunately couldn't max out the bow because I didn't have the materials and it was Friday at the time of the recording, so we'll have less HP there. Anyway, I'm running the two-piece Retracing Belied and the two-piece Tenacity sets on Diona, which will help make her shoot better. We'll just have to level up her artifacts now. And we actually managed to hit the crit damage. Come on. Oh, no consumables found. Unfortunately, we can only get to 40% HP, but I think that can do. go you can level that up to level 19 and now we have 31,000 hp not as much as zhongli but definitely still a lot 
our third party member will be Yanfei. Now, you might go like, hold up, why did you choose Yanfei over Xinyan and Toma? Simple. For Yanfei, since her shield is from her constellation, you don't have to level it. If you can't tell, my Xinyan and Toma aren't leveled. So anyway, her weapon is going to be the prototype Amber, and I can farm the weapon material today. So yeah, let's get to that. Where? Uh, Yanfei, Yanfei, there. Alright, we're saved. Oh wait, oh. Ah, uh, it is what it is. She of course has the same set as Diona. I had to sacrifice some of my built artifacts to level them up, but they weren't too great anyways. 20? Around 24,000 max HP. And our final character, the Geo Queen. Uh, I mean, the other Geo Queen, Noelle. I'm choosing her because not only does she have a built weapon and leveled talents, but more importantly, she is another Geo character. This gives my team Geo Resonance, which increases their shield strength by 15%. I would like to add, she is one of the only defense scaling shield characters in the game, the other being Xinyan. Now, what's good about her weapon is that its passive can increase her defense even more. So, of course, I went ahead and upgraded it a bit. And then for her artifacts, I'm going with a similar set to the previous two, this time with defense instead. I don't have too many spare artifacts at this point, so yeah, more foddering my other ones. And I believe that's it. With everyone built, let's see how good their shields are. So the first thing I'm going to check is how many shields I can have at the same time. Okay, this is this mage. Alright. Diona. Uh, I mean, Zhang Li, Diona. Uh, Hianfei. Noel. I have five shields at once. Oh my gosh. Might I add, it's kind of cool to see all the different shield shapes. For the cryo hypostasis, Diona's shield does amazing by itself. Yeah. Diona's shield by itself is enough to survive through that whole entire um, that whole entire Beyblade attack. Yeah, I think I have too much HP. I mean, too much shields and HP. Oh wait, my HP is going down. Oh wait, wait, wait. Okay, shields may help me from um, from not dying to boss attacks, but it does not help me from not dying to the cold. With five shields, I can just sit through this whole entire attack without even needing to move. I believe more defense uh, against, m more absorption against Electro. To be honest, I don't even think I needed five shields there. But for most bosses, Zhongli's shield is good enough. I mean, who would have thought? There is one boss though that can actually shred through shields, and it's none other than the Volin. Okay, just the simple Zhongli shield. Let's see. Okay, okay, Zhongli shield cannot survive the whole entire attack. But what if I use all my shields? And Noel. Can we survive this whole entire thing with four shields? Okay. I believe we have two shields left. One shield left. Okay. Oh my gosh, we just not enough. We, we have just not enough. I tried this again, except this time, I kept refreshing my shields with Noel. So if I constantly gather all these crystals. Oh my gosh! And surprisingly, this worked. Next, I went to fight Chao. Most of you may know that some of his attacks are especially powerful. At one point, I even regarded one as an insta-kill attack. But how strong is he today? Let's see, I'm not gonna use my shift button whatsoever. Uh, I still take damage. Okay, never mind. <laughs> oh my gosh, the shield is just too powerful. Yep. Okay, Yanfei. There we go. We have all four shields. It does not even break a single one of our shields! Oh my gosh! We took a few damage, but that is not the attack I'm looking out for. This is not the attack, but... Hmm. Okay, this one. Oh. <laughs> he still cannot destroy the shields. I think I could safely say Tartaglia kind of fell off. 
Compared to him, strong bosses nowadays don't really care too much if you have shields. Okay, okay. Let's see. If, can I survive this whole entire attack without taking a single... Well, the, the whole entire fight without taking a single point of damage. Oh, well. No. Oh. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I, I forgot about the frost. Oh, okay. The Golden Wolf Lord, for example, does corrosion damage against your entire team. Perhaps as a way to counter shield users. There is one more boss that I want to test these shields against, though. Who I believe to be the strongest one of them all. The Raiden Shogun. Most of her attacks can be blocked by shields, but there was the one that I was unsure of. What I believe to be the true insta-kill attack. It's the only one that I noticed that does no visible damage against her character. So I wonder if I can take it if I have multiple shields on me. Is it this one? This one? Okay. Oh wait, Yanfei shield! Hold on! Oh. To the oh. Okay. Yeah, I don't think Yanfei's shield would have helped me there. To answer my initial questions, shields are good, but it really depends on the situation. Having one shield is almost as good as having four. And nowadays, there are attacks and effects that damage your character directly. There is also a problem with keeping everyone's shields up because their cooldowns are so long, which means it's much easier to dodge some attacks than to tank everything. But yeah, anyway, thank you for watching, subscribe for more bad content like this, follow my Twitch if you want to watch me live, and I'll see you in another video. Take care.